awesome. Hey, welcome back to the Neverland Kitchen. How is everybody? We have not been on in a while, so we're excited to see you all. Today is his birthday. <laughs> Today is, in fact, my birthday, so we are going to be hanging out together, right? Chilling out, and we're gonna do some fun things, and we thought we'd record a show today so that you guys could have some fun with us on my birthday. Uh, so we're not doing a birthday cake this year. So we thought that we would make something special for you guys today. We're not gonna cook. Nope. Nope. Today, we're gonna make bath bombs. That's right, we're gonna make bath bombs. Every kid loves to make bath bombs, uh, especially, you know, play with them in the bathtubs and whatnot. So we're gonna teach you guys how to make your own bath bombs for your home. In fact, we saw it on YouTube from a different channel. We did? Yeah, remember? Are you, are you sure? Yeah. No. Oh. I don't remember seeing it on YouTube. I know that you can do it though. It's on YouTube. I'm sure it's on YouTube somewhere. <laughs> all right, so here's what we're gonna need to make our bath bombs today, all right? First, we've got ultra Epsom, that's Epsom salt, okay? Yep. You need to have Epsom salt. You also have to have citric acid. Now, uh, it's hard to find citric acid in large quantity at a regular grocery store, but we thankfully, fresh time. that's right. Fresh Time, our favorite grocery store of all time, had it in bulk and you can buy little packets full of it. So we bought two packets here of citric acid. We almost ran out of the bottle, almost ran out. Then we have got um, coating and smells <laughs> so we have food colorings that we're going to use. Uh, now, this time around, we're using a special type of food coloring. This is a powdered food coloring that is really uh, more natural and more healthy for you instead of the uh, synthetic food colors that you buy in the little jars. We've never um, used them before, so this is our first time. That's right, but we believe it's going to turn out amazing. Yeah. That's in right. the middle, we're going to put a red that's right. So we got this uh, this special uh, cake decorated food coloring. This is what you use to color your icing with. We thought we would try that just to get the red. It's not going to be a little Right. So we thought, you know, if we use that, then you guys can have something you can relate to if you're not used to the all natural uh, powdered uh, food coloring. Also, what she's talking about with the smell goods is that uh, you always have to have a bath bomb that smells delicious, right? Uh -huh. Right, so uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna use these essential oils. Uh, they are skin safe. These are all natural from Fresh Time as well. You can buy those. Uh, you can use any essential oil you can get from your holistic stores, um, your crystal hippie shops. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so really what this this all, this was from Fresh Time, this was from Fresh Time, these two were from Fresh Time, uh, grocery store. That's I don't right. I know where these came from. Grocery stores. So basically everything here is very easy to get a hold of. You can buy them just about anywhere. We just make it a couple of trips because we wanted to find out if we could get the right things that we actually wanted. Uh, so we're gonna do orange and, and lemon. lemon. My dad told me that they smell really good since I haven't smelled that time yet. Yep, they are gonna smell fantastic in your bath. Also, we've got our uh, coconut oil, which you're gonna need a little bit later on, yeah. baking soda and cornstarch. Yeah. <coughs> Pardon me. I had a rough throat for like the past yeah. week. Yeah, that's what kind of rough that is. Yeah. All right, so these are our ingredients. We're gonna cut over now and start making our bath bombs. So you ready? Let's go. All right. All right, welcome back. Now we're down here at our craft table. We decided not to do this in the kitchen counter. It's too small. Yeah, we need a little bit more room for this big project. So we uh, pulled out our craft table and we laid down the sheet here so that we can do this here and have a little bit more room yeah. for filming, right? Yeah. All right, so here's what we need to do. <clears throat> First, you wanna take eight ounces. It's approximately one cup of your baking soda. Oh! One half cup of Epsom salt. Okay, this is what it looks like, it's so tiny. Yeah, it looks like little crystals, doesn't it? I just put one in it. Okay. 
Okay, Have so we've got that. it all over the table. That's okay. <laughs> because when you're baking or making something, you get messy. <laughs> That's true, you do, don't you? Yeah. Then you need one half cup or four ounces of cornstarch. Now you want to be careful because F because uh, cornstarch can get a little messy. <laughs> I got my shirt. That's okay. It's going in the laundry anyways. And then we're going to use the citric acid. Yes, it does not smell good and it burns your nose. Don't smell it. Okay? Now this is where it gets a little bit different. So normally, if you're using your regular liquid food coloring that you buy at the grocery store, you would just take your little food coloring bottle, right? And then you would go beep, 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 and you'd put two or three drops in. Yeah. But we're using this uh, powdered, time. yeah, we're using this powdered product yeah. here. And we're gonna try to use this a little yeah, bit Yeah, that different. is what it looks like. It's just like a powder, powder, powder. That's right. It feels like, it feels like actual cookie dough. Here is, yeah, it feels like cookie dough, doesn't it? Yeah. So here's our silicone uh, cupcake holders that we have bought at the store that we're going to use. That I already showed them. And we're going to jam pack these in here.
Hey guys, thank you for watching the Neverland Kitchen where we never grow up and always play with our friends.